QA Ninja. What's going on everyone? It's the QA Ninja here, back with another episode. Exciting news! Hatchy has finally officially released the official Sega Genesis Mini Hack with folder support. Playing games from the main UI, this is the hack that we've been waiting for. So I'm going to break down a little bit of everything for you. It's super duper easy. You're going to love this. It's super fun. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the HackG GitHub repo here. And then you want to go ahead and click on Hatchy Debug. To install this, I would recommend because it actually gives you a window showing any errors if you run into them that could help you out in troubleshooting. So we're just going to click on this. And then we're going to open up on the app here. And then this is the Hatchy, the official CE 3.7 as of now. And then here's the debug window. So first we're going to need to connect our Sega Genesis Mini and install the custom kernel click yes so for this you want to make sure you power the button hold reset and then plug in your USB micro USB cord for this and you need this to be a data transfer one not the one that it came with link below for one that will work for you transfer over the game so I'm gonna drag it into the main window here okay so it's in there so to hide all the stock games if you want to see what you just added we're gonna go to original games then hidden and here are our original games. So next thing we're gonna wanna do is actually do box art for this, which is very easy. I'm gonna start with Aladdin on top. So click on the artwork tab, Aladdin, and then click on Google here, select this image right here if you like it, and then spine, to get the side image. So I selected this logo and I'm gonna go with the USA red stripe, hit okay. And then you just have to do this for each one that you are working with each game. Or you can go ahead and click on each one, select multiple of them. And then you can right click, select um, box art for selected games. Very easy. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we need to install some modules. So we need to first download, go to KMFD Mod Hub here. And we're going to have to download um, KMFD RetroArc. This is going to be allowing us to play other cores, such as uh, the Sega Genesis core and other um, systems if you need to. So download this module here. And then the next thing we need to do is go to KMFD cores. And then we're going to look for uh, Sega Genesis. And I'm going to also um, download the 32X mod here for the sake uh, purpose of this so you guys can kind of see how it works. We're just going to download them. So it's going to be Genesis plus GX and Pico Drive for the 32X. And we're gonna download both these modules. You're gonna to have to also install them, so we're gonna do that next. So click download again. It takes just a couple seconds to do. And, okay. So after that, we need to go ahead and go back to modules and install extra modules. And then we're gonna click and check Genesis plus GX and for this Pico drive and make sure you click on RetroArch. All these have to be installed. As you see, it's gonna start installing. It's a very quick process. All right, now that we've got everything added, we need to go ahead and update these command lines. You can run it under M2 Engage, which is the um, default emulator, but I would prefer Genesis plus GX because actually is a greater compatibility to most Sega Genesis games. So this, and then you want to click on apply to update and then close. And there you have it. So Aladdin has been updated for the command line. It's very simple to do and you would have to do that for every single game as I already did it for Virtue Fighter. Uh, the 32X command line has been updated. And that's pretty much it for that. The last thing you're going to have to do is just simply click on structure. For custom folders and for this I like to go by split by console just so you can have everything organized by the consoles and I'm gonna have the Sega Genesis games up here on the home screen so control A and just drag this all over to the main side so 
we're just going to have the Sega Genesis games on the home screen and my 32X folder there. All right, and so once the folders are set, just click synchronize selected games. Folder support might pop up again, just hit OK. It's going to synchronize for you, and you're good to go on this. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about adding games to a USB. Should you run out of space, you're going to need an OTG adapter. So I'm using this one in particular. This USB OTG adapter goes in the back of the Sega Genesis Mini. It's a very slim line. You know, a lot of other people are using the one that has the several cords coming out, but I like this one the way it looks. It's easier to use. Okay, so for this, I added Sega uh, 2 Mater two meters 3 PlayStation. Added the artwork, box art, and everything. For this, I just need to export to USB with my USB connected. And I'm just going to actually select the specific drive that it's in. In case it's the D drive, so hit OK. And it's going to be transported to an unsorted folder. So I'm just going to go split by console again. And as you see here is my uh, Tomb Raider 3 ROM. So there it is. And I hit OK. And then click Synchronize. And it's going to take a few minutes because it is a PlayStation game. It's got a lot more. But it's going to be exported to the USB. And that's pretty much it. Sega Mini see what we got here and now I hit all the stock games just so you can see all the games that we've added a little bit of everything and uh, yeah so let's uh, check out some Sonic 3D Blast here this is gonna load directly from RetroArch so you can check out how the game plays it's gonna be running pretty smoothly great graphics always been one of my favorite games here all right and to exit out of it you just hit hold start and select it's gonna bring you to the RetroArch menu just click on quit RetroArch here and it's going to bring you right back over. Pressing B allows you to see the spines. And that's like pretty much it. It's a very easy hack. Shout out to the hack team for this. It was an amazing thing they've done put it together here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Be happy to help any way I can. Check out my other videos. Subscribe and thanks for watching.